Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, March 5th, 2021. We'll start by looking at the US dollar index as that has basically been the culprit for basically everything that has happened today. So first of all, yields, they continue to rise. People are investing in the bond market instead of, of, uh, of stocks. And we also see the increase of the or appreciation of the us dollar index and that had most commodities precious metal and so on going completely the opposite direction except for oil which uh, didn't really make much sense at this point but that probably will come later so let's look at the technical indicators they are looking very bullish still we are on the edge of being overbought for the us dollar we did break these previous highs this is a very bullish candlestick so we could expect this to go higher towards the 200 moving average or 92.5. That is probably where we'll find quite a lot of, of um, resistance. We can look at the Fibonacci retracements for this and see where we technically could go to. We are getting close to the 50 at the 91.79. And then here we are at 92.42. So that's probably as far as this will go before it will turn to the, to the downside. We can also look at the Bollinger Band. We can also see here that we are way outside of the Bollinger Band. So last time we did that, this happened. So we fell from 91.55 all the way down towards these very lows here at 89.63. So I'm saying that that is going to happen, but that did happen the last time we were outside of the Bollinger Band. For basically in the, on, the, on the upside so let's look at oil so we had this a massive rally in oil today we were up roughly six percent uh we got close to uh, 64.63 very close to 65 which will be a massive challenge for this market to get through that is the previous highs over here the previous highs over here uh, there's an area which we have tested in the past and uh, which will most likely offer significant uh, resistance in the uh, when we can basically get there if we ever basically get there the us dollar is appreciating and that will uh, work significantly against oil so yes what is basically driving this well uh, uh, production cuts and uh, and so on opec um Yes, there could be a few factors, but the world economy or the demand of the world economy is definitely not one of those factors. We can look at the, we still have the 20 exponential that is offering significant uh, support. So as long as that is the case, and every pullback towards the 20 exponential is still a buying opportunity. Break below the 20, opens the door to the 50 here at 55.11. So let's look at natural gas. So as you can see, we broke down from um, yesterday. We got towards uh, 2.8859, and now we broke the, below the 50 moving average. Technical indicators are looking dreadful for this market. So we don't have the same weather conditions as we did, um, and therefore probably demand for natural gas is also declining. So we're, it looks like we are in an uptrend, but. The 50 moving average is holding. We did pierce it, but we uh, bounced back and now we're trading uh, above the 50 moving average. If we manage to break above the 20, that could open the door to the $3 range. If we manage to break uh, below the 50, that opens the door to the 200 moving average at 2.49. So let's look at copper. So copper had a horrible day today, similar to most uh, other uh, metals. Uh, we are down roughly 5%. We dropped towards 3.849. And uh, we look at a few natural retracement for this. We can see that we got really close to the 61.8 and then bounced. Technical indicators are looking dreadful for copper. So usually what happens here is that you bounce and then you have a gradual grind towards the Fibonacci retracement or the 50 moving average that is just underneath. 
at the moment, the lower this basically gets and turns around, that is a probable uh, buying opportunity if we don't break below the 50 moving average and open the door to the 3.5 or the 200 moving average down underneath here. So let's look at gold. So gold continues to fall off a cliff. Um, we This is getting uh, fairly out of hand. If you look at it, for example, the uh, Bullinger Bands, we can see that we are way outside of the Bullinger Band. We have been for quite some time, and it's only a matter of time before we pull back. We are in a downtrend. We can look at the massive resistance line here, which we are far off. And then we have this support line here, which we are getting really close to. So around around 1673, that is where we should expect this to uh, pull back from. If this continues, um, yes, we will most likely test this line and whether or not it is a viable support line to hold or whether or not we basically break through it and head towards 1600. That is the case. We could all, that could also open the door to fifteen hundred. Technical indicators are still looking fairly dreadful for gold, so everybody's dumping this, and uh, at this current stage. So let's look at silver. So silver has broken the fifty moving average, and now we're heading towards the twenty dollar range. If this breaks, then that opens the door to the. Uh, 200 moving average at the $23.95. Technical indicators are looking really dreadful for this market. So, yes, we'll probably fall even further from here. Rallies towards the 50, that's most likely going to be sold into. And then we're going to drift lower towards the 200 moving average. So, let's look at platinum. Yes. So platinum continues to fall off a cliff. We basically pierced the, the 50 moving average and also settled underneath the 50 moving average. So that is a very, very negative sign for, uh, for platinum. It was went basically parabolical and then just fell the same way it basically went up. Technical indicators are looking dreadful. We are 41, so we're not even close to being over sold at this point. We can drop even further, probably down to... Um, towards 11.00 before finding any kind of support. We can look at the Fibonacci retracement and this is see where we can find the next support. It is down right here at the 10.82 and then towards the 10.26. Yes, so this is definitely in a downturn. If we manage to rally from here, then the 20 exponential will most likely uh, act as resistant. So let's look at pallium. So this is the same thing. I feel like I'm doing the same analysis over and over again. We have the high zero of 2.5, the low zero 2.2, the 20, uh, 200 moving average here. That's going to offer a lot of uh, support. So break towards the 20, that is going most likely going to be bought into. Rally up towards 2.5, that is most likely going to be sold into. Technical indicators are looking dreadful for um, for pallium, so we could see this rollover head towards the 200 moving average. So let's look at aluminium. So aluminium has dropped towards support here at the 20 exponential moving average, which we have tested several times in the past. It is really volatile. It rallies 6%, uh, uh, fell, falls 6%, and so on, and has been doing that for the last two weeks. At the moment, if we drop below the 20 exponential, that opens the door to the 50 here at 20, 36. Technical indicators are all turning around. So that is a very, very, very shine. We did actually gap down today and then starting, uh, starting trending even lower. So let's look at nickel, which had a horrible day today. So we were down roughly 8%, more of that, uh, around 9%. And uh, I haven't actually seen a fall like this uh, since, uh, well, even since the pandemic, the beginning of the pandemic. So what has actually happened here, it is uh, unclear to me. People can write to me in the comment section, basically, basically what basically is going on in this market. From a 
technical analysis standpoint, we can look at, for example, the Fibonacci, the Fibonacci retracement for the longs. We can see that we are broken through the first one and the 50 is right here at the 200 moving average, right at this point. So it is going to be a big ask to um, for this to break through this level here. So break below the 200 and the 50, that certainly opens the door to the 61.8 at 14,357. So a rollover from here and or a rally from here, that is most likely what's going to happen. We're at 27 here in the RSI. Only a few days ago, we were about um, 80 in the, in the RSI. So this has absolutely well, fallen apart. It's lost around 25% in only one week or week and a half. So a massive, a drastic fall in nickel. So 20, 200 moving average, that is most likely where we're going to see this uh, turn around. So let's look at sugar. So Sugar is stuck here at the 50 moving average. Technical indicators are slowly turning around, and this is starting to look really good for this uh, commodity. Usually, then things just stay at the same point and it doesn't break down further. It tends to rally to the upside. So, the first target here is the 20 exponential. Then we are heading towards 0 0.1748. Uh, and then to these highs of 0 0.1880. Six, so technical indicators are still looking very dreadful, but uh, they are slowly turning around to the outside. So let's look cotton. So cotton continues to fall. We're trading underneath the twenty exponential at this point. Technical indicators are turning around. We're mostly heading towards the fifty moving average before finding support. To buy it here um, is very risky. If we manage to break above the 20 exponential, that opens the door to 0 0.9 and then to these previous highs here. Otherwise, I, at this point, it's more likely that we'll drop towards the 50 and then rally from there as we have broken the 20 exponential today. So let's look at COA. And uh, yes, so we did find a major resistance right here at 2.661. And now today we fell quite substantially towards the 20 exponential. So 20 exponential will be the first target, then the 50 here, and then the 200 moving average before going all the way down towards the 2.367, if we can get to that point. So we're trading at the highs of 2.8, lows at roughly 2.2, and then the uh, in between here at 2.6, and then 2.3. Uh, really difficult to basically trade this because it's basically all over the place. I'm just staying far, far away from this. Technical indicators are all turning around, so it is very likely that we'll go lower from here before we go higher. So let's look at wheat. So as you can see, we have tested a 50 moving average and then rallied again. We also rallied above the 50 to 20 exponential and then broke down. Now, now we're basically stuck right in between these moving averages. Technical indicators are looking bearish for this uh, commodity. So break below the 50, well, that could have a tidal way all the way down to 600. Uh, break above the 20 exponential, opens the door to 685 and beyond that. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to write to me on Patreon if you have any questions. Otherwise, good luck and thank you very much.